Well guys, today this is episode 2, it's day 2 and I'm going to be picking up my engine, putting some new wheels on, and I have some other stuff planned. I'm also going to be riding it. Yeah, if y'all haven't watched the first episode, do so. But yeah, I'm about to get my engine, so come along. We're almost done. Uh, we just have the chain lift and I have to pour some gas and some oil in there. But I do want to apologize for the bad lighting. It is kind of getting dark, so well, I can't really do anything about it. But another one on my truck. I mean, just gasoline is not good enough for you. I don't know. I want to blow the head off. Well guys, today's a new day, it's Sunday, and today I'm mostly going to be riding my go-kart, but before I do that, I got something to show y'all. So a lot of you may know that the Predator 212 comes uh, throttled from the factory. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if y'all look closely, y'all can see that the, when you pull the throttle, it gets stopped by that little screw right there. Right there. So, me being me, I knew about this, and today I'm actually going to unscrew it all the way. Now, it's not really wise, because I haven't even broken my engine yet, but I'm going to do it just for y'all, so. So I got the screw back all the way up, and it's time to go for a ride now.
So guys, honestly, the Predator 212 so far has been running without problems. It's been pretty reliable, and I really love the power. It has a lot more torque than my Briggs and Stratton did. So yeah, that's my opinion on the Predator 212. It's a good engine. So yeah, guys, that's going to have to do it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm planning to do a custom exhaust, maybe some kind of custom air intake, and possibly removing the governor hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode so far do drop me a like and subscribe if you're new it's gonna really help me grow it's gonna help me reach my goal and um, i'll see you in the next episode peace